Okay, we're going to go ahead and get started uh, now with the uh, Smart PTT uh, release version 8.7 webinar. My name is Michael Suliard, and I'm the general manager for the American office of LCOM Plus and Smart PTT. Um, if at any time you have any questions, please feel free to type your questions into the question box, and then at the end of the webinar, uh, I'll go ahead and address your questions. So I'd like to start off with a very brief overview of Smart PTT. Um, as many of you know, Smart PTT is the uh, all-in-one voice and data application for Moto Turbo radio systems. It's going to give you your voice and radio dispatch for selective calling, radio kill, and other radio dispatch functionalities. It's going to give you real-time GPS tracking, text messaging, event logging, telemetry, voice recording, fleet management, loan worker, and job ticketing, which is your work order management. Those are all standard features of Smart PTT. We also have uh, down below enhanced or optional features within Smart PTT. These include telephone interconnect, so radio subscribers and dispatchers can make and receive telephone calls web client, so users can access the radio system from anywhere in the world using APC's web browser. Man down, which is a firmware you can load into the generic option board to detect um, a lack of movement or tilt of a radio. We're also introducing Smart PTT Mobile, which is the mobile application for uh, smartphones and tablets. Indoor tracking, so when you don't have uh, GPS uh, available, you can still track where your units are. Radio network bridging for interoperability. Direct IP connection, so you don't need control stations when doing a conventional repeater or IP site connect systems. We do simulcast through the radio activity solution, and we do repeater network monitoring. So uh, these are some of the things we're going to go over today. The mobile application, the SLR repeater, Connect Plus enhancements, indoor tracking, new cross patch, uh, subscription update notifications, the firmwares that we now support, as well as other minor changes. Now, typically, you save the best for last, but I think this one is just too big to wait till the end, and that is the mobile application. This is what many of you have been waiting for, and this um, is going to enable you to do voice calls, texting, and GPS tracking with your radio subscribers from your smartphone or tablet. Now, the Android version is currently in beta testing, and you can download that from the Google Play, uh, yeah, the Google Play Store. And the iOS version, I'll have an update as to when that's going to be available probably next week. So if you would like to uh, be a beta tester of the mobile app, uh, please feel free to contact us after the webinar, and we'll help you get set up with a demo of the mobile app. So we now support the new SLR 5000 series uh, repeaters. Uh, Smart PTT 8.7 was tested and certified by Motorola to work with the Moto Turbo SLR repeaters. It supports all topologies, including the traditional IP site connect and capacity plus protocols that we use to do some wireline connectivity uh, with the repeaters. The new repeater also offers uh, 30 new types of alarms uh, for the remote diagnostics and control. Now some of the Connect Plus enhancements, this particular one applies uh, only to North America. I know we have a number of people uh, on the webinar today from Latin America and the Caribbean. 
Um, this would not apply to you in Latin America, as in Latin America, Motorola offers the uh, Smart PTT Plus, which is a Motorola sold and supported product uh, from Elcom Plus and Smart PTT. Smart PTT Plus is going to give you full wireline connectivity for data to the XRC9000 and wireline connectivity to the XRT9000 for voice. Uh, in North America, Motorola does not grant us access to the XRT9000. Therefore, we do this where we do voice calls through control stations, and we do the data through a wireline connection to the XRC9000. Now, with the control stations for voice, you're going to need one control station per talk group, and then you would need an additional control station if you want to do private calls. Again, this is uh, just valid for North America, and in Latin America and the Caribbean, you would contact your Motorola channel account manager to find out more about Smart PTT Plus. You're also welcome to call David Archia, our, our channel account manager or regional sales manager for Smart PTT in Latin America and the Caribbean. Also for Connect Plus, uh, we now support the fast GPS. With Connect Plus version 1.6, they released a new feature where you can do GPS updates every 30 seconds. So Smart PTT also supports that new feature. We've done a number of indoor tracking enhancements. Uh, one of the first things we've started, or one of the first things we've added, is support for BlueFi Wireless. Uh, BlueFi Wireless is a manufacturer of option boards and beacons for use with indoor tracking, and our software will work with their equipment. And uh, BlueFi has an office based out of uh, North Carolina but they are based out of Australia, and that's where their main office is. Uh, if you contact me, I can give you their contact information. So one of the things that BlueFi does differently from KillCare, which is the other solution we offer for indoor tracking, is all the uh, beacon activity is sent as text messages. Um, you only get subscriber location updates when it moves from one beacon to the next. So you're not going to get the same resolution as you get with the kill care solution. So other enhancements we've done with the indoor tracking is you can now do track animations with the indoor. So you want to play the history back of where a particular subscriber has been during the day, you can play back their uh, route throughout the day. You can also create routes and geofences as well as rules and alerts for indoor tracking. So if you want to create a route that a guard must uh, follow that route throughout their shift, you can do that as well. Or if you want to have a hazardous work zone uh, inside a building, you can create a geofence to identify that zone, and if anyone violates that route or they violate the geofence, they could be uh, create rules to notify the dispatcher or the subscriber. So we've also uh, streamlined what we can do as far as uh, adding, editing, and deleting beacons. You can create, um, in addition to the beacon number, you can create a location. So if you want to call it the conference room or the guard shack, you can call it that versus Beacon 100. And then um, you can easily edit them by going into the menu or deleting them there. We have another uh, a new feature related to indoor tracking, but it's also applicable to GPS tracking. And that is you can create a geofence and then require a minimum number of subscribers within that geofence. So if you want to have a guard shack and always require that at least one subscriber be in that guard shack at all times, if 
we see the geofence has zero subscribers, we can create an alert, go back to the dispatcher to let no one's uh, to let them know no one is in the guard shack. So with the cross patch functionality, this is very similar to uh, interoperability with our radio network bridging feature. Uh, this is a standard feature of Smart PTT. And this is going to enable you to temporarily patch together uh, talk groups, whether they're within the same radio network or within different radio networks. So if you want to have somebody interoperate uh, between the security talk group and the administrative talk group, you can uh, patch those calls temporarily, and the dispatcher can easily make and break those patches. And this will work on all systems and topologies, whether it's conventional, IP, Site Connect, Capacity Plus, and so on. You can also use it to patch together Moto Turbo to something like P25. This diagram gives you some idea of how it works. If you look at the area outlined in red, you will see that that's one radio system, and there we are uh, patching two talk groups within the same radio system. If you look at the area highlighted in green, you will see that those are two separate radio systems, but that we're able to patch talk groups between the two different radio systems. And if you look within the yellow, we're able to cross-patch multiple talk groups within multiple systems. Now, we have added, uh, when you purchase Smart PTT, the first year of software updates are included with your purchase. Uh, you, when you purchase the software, you also the uh, end user owns the software. The only recurring fee is related to software updates. And we've added this new notification that tells the end user when their updates are expiring so that they can then contact you, the dealer, to say, hey, how do I go about maintaining my uh, subscriptions? Now, we will also, as you are dealer, we will send you uh, update proposals about 30 to 60 days prior to the um, updates expiring so that you can be proactive. You can take the quote we give you, add your markup, and send a new proposal to the end customer. So this will pop up 60 days prior, and then the um, dispatcher can tell it to just hit OK, or they can say, don't show me this message again. It will still show up in the notification bar at the bottom of the dispatcher, though. So the new firmware that uh, SmartPTT is supporting is it supports Moto Turbo uh, 2.4a, as well as Connect Plus 1.6. Some of the minor changes that we've added, again, I told you earlier about the new rule type of requiring a minimum number of subscribers within a geofence, otherwise it will create an alert. You can also manually set a subscriber location on a map. So if you want, you can uh, make a point on that map where you want that new location to be, or you can manually enter the desired coordinates. We've also created um, an expanded list of supported codecs for the telephone interconnect, as well as the ability to prioritize which codecs will be used. And also, when you update from an earlier version of Smart PTT to version 8.7, you're going to be notified that it is restructuring the database uh, during the installation pro process, and that that optimization will take several minutes depending on the size of the database. So those are all the uh, primary points to go over with the um, release of uh, Smart PTT version 8.7. Uh, you can contact us 
um, at info at smartptt.com. You can also email us at miami at smartptt.com. The telephone number for the Miami office is 786-362-5525. And I'll give you that again. Um, it is 786-362-5525. So if you do have any questions, uh, please feel free to type them into the question bar, and we'll go ahead and address those uh, questions one by one.